the only film during quarantine I've watched but didn't review is the yeah, 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 um, is um, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. You know, I get confused between Dawn and Rise. Because, like, Dawn in many ways could mean the beginning, but Rise also means the beginning. So it's like, which is the beginning? It's very clear that War is the final one. But I'm like, not, like, I know there, 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 there's, you know, def I know which one is, is comes first. It's just the names. You know, like, Dawn and Rise. But no, I'm pretty sure it's Rise. Whichever one's the first one. Pretty sure it's Rise. But, um, yeah, Rise. But, um, I, I mean, I like it. I like it. You know, it was a long time since I watched it, and I haven't watched the other two ones. I mean, I watched half of Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I, don't, I haven't got back into it because I don't know where to find the films on any streaming services. And, you know, I could say, like, oh, but rent them. You know, and that's, that brings me to another question. I can rent Dunkirk. I can rent The Prestige. I can rent Memento because I in in the, the following because I do want to get through all the the Christopher Nolan films. Those are the only ones I haven't seen. But I'm like, there's so many great streaming content that of films that I really want to see that I that I haven't seen. So my thought process is watch all the films that I want to see on these different streaming services that I do have before I jump into renting films. So I'm not gonna rent Dawn. Or, or Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I'm not going to rent War of the Planet of the Apes. But I want to see them before the Batman. I want to see them before the Batman. Because I want to see what Matt Reeves has in store. But based on this film, you know, I think it was such a small sample size. And I think this is, like I said, it's just the beginning. And I think, I think kind of the thing about this film that it kind of made you in a little bit about it was it in many ways felt a lot of, 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 I guess, setup, you know what I mean? Because this whole film was more of the origin story of, of, uh, of, um, of Caesar than a real true, you know, ape conquering the world, and it felt a lot much on a smaller scale. But that's kind of what I enjoyed about it, you know, seeing Caesar grow up and have friends and have his, you know, different family and stuff, but yet change with that and, and leave that behind. Um, I mean, and just seeing that evolves and changes. And so I think I can look at this film different ways. I could, I could, I could, I could. Because on the one hand, it's a great origin story. I think this, the, the, the great mocap mo cap work and, and seeing kind of that because like the uh, like seeing characters transition throughout a film are great and you know, no better than than a guy than a thing like see I was gonna say guy but ape like Caesar and you know seeing him just go from a little cute little monk uh, gorilla an, an ape to becoming you know the the big gorilla and it's starting a attack on the city it's it's crazy and he does get abused and. It, it, there, there, there is a lot um, going for this film. You know, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I don't, I don't think in the scheme of things it's that special, that great. But that the best thing about this film is how it sets up. You know, really that 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 grittiness, that gritty war aspect and gritty dark and, and, and aspects that would translate well to a film and a character like Batman. And so, kind of seeing that going forward and I will watch it before the Batman whether it be a week before I watch the Batman or it be a month or it be a year I want to see it to kind of get a viewpoint on like what are we dealing with what well, you know what I mean um so yeah stay tuned for videos coming at you